So last April, the unemployment rate in Iceland measured in at around 7%, which is quite bad for Icelandic standard tax. It's absolutely terrible, but given everything that's happened in the world, probably could be worse. Now, it's June right now, and the economy has opened up much more than it was in April. We haven't, you know, they haven't seen a major spike in cases, even though the borders were opened. So, it could be that more people are returning to work, but I don't know. However, and here we have some very good news. The government of Iceland recently decided to pledge itself to a massive new infrastructure project. So the bill in question, which has been crafted for quite some time by Minister of Transportation and Local Government, Sigurdringi Johansson, uh, whom you may remember as having been Prime Minister briefly after his predecessor Sigmund uh, David Gunnlaugsson stepped down. However, um, so this bill proposes that until the year 2034, over the next 14 years, the government is going to spend 900 billion kroner which I don't know how much is in other currencies, I'll just put it on the screen and okay, this amount may not seem like that much but take into consideration that Iceland has a population of 360 plus thousand people so yeah, this is a huge share of our national budget and it is expected to, in, this, in the coming years, that this might create up to 8,700 new jobs. Now think about that for a moment. Um, again, small country and everything. There is a large hospital in downtown Reykjavik, Landspitalin. It's where the majority of Icelanders, such as myself, uh, start their lives. AE are born and also the place where most of us end up dying when the time comes. It employs around 5,000 plus people, or about 2% of Iceland's entire workforce. So 8,700 jobs, over the, like it's not all at once probably, but over the course of years is still... That's a lot. So, in responding to the crisis, you know, the eco eco economic... Eco economic... Economic... Fuck! economic <laughs> part of the coronavirus crisis, the government is spending more money to create more infrastructure and create more jobs. I.e. they're gonna, you know, uh, plans have been made to build more road tunnels to connect some of the more isolated Icelandic towns that are, that are isolated from the main Icelandic road network, i.e. highway number one, and also to eliminate most of the one-lane bridges that are still found on the uh, on Route 1 in several areas and uh, replace them with two lane bridges as well as just bettering lots of roads all over Iceland and also in this package there is also there are also future plans for a more efficient uh, Reykjavik uh, city transportation network something that's gonna supplement the existing bus network which has in the last few years been well it hasn't been run as efficiently as it should have because, well, tra uh, well, higher traffic yields, though traffic stops and you know just uh, traffic congestion. I think it's called in English properly. It's been a major issue in Reykjavik in the past few years, and it's get gets you know. Tell me if you ever heard this one uh, before, but yeah, it probably gets worse pretty much every year. And I've noticed the I haven't I only started owning a car like nine months ago and I've noticed sometimes when driving on the ru in, in the rush hour traffic that I'm like stuck there driving like 20 to 30 kilometers an hour and I'm like what the fuck is this do I still live in Iceland or did I just move to fucking New York like yeah so so they're planning new infrastructure road projects in Reykjavik as well they're basically building new um, stop British you know whatever, whatever that means to connect the outer regions of the city with the inner with the inner core where most people work and uh, and that's and hoping that that alleviates some of the traffic issue now one of the controversies of this bill is that it is proposed that in some instances roads or tunnels or whatever would be uh, financed via road tolls that is everyone who pays through uh, drives through has to pay a road toll Apparently people are all up in arms about that, even though road tolls have existed before. I mean, 
Hello, Island. Muni after Kvalfjarnar fucking gungunum. Road tolls for over 20 years and everybody said, oh, we're not gonna pay road tolls, we're gonna drive around. They were all fucking liars. Nobody drove around. Everybody realized that it was still the more efficient w w way to go through and, you know, paying the gas, you know, for driving around pretty much amounted to the same as just paying, you, paying the toll and, you know, you saved like almost an hour of your driving time. So, yeah. All these people that are now rallying against the uh, proposed road tolls, in my opinion, all just a bunch of fucking hypocrites, if you ask me. But yeah, I'd say this is an absolute huge win just for Icelandic society in general. And uh, it's good to see that the government is, in a lot of ways, not just healthcare, healthcare and precautionary measures, dealing with the coronavirus situation very responsibly. So yeah. That's all I have to say about it. Just a bit of good news. Thank you.